I am super excited to be here today with Anthony Kim. Anthony, welcome. Hey, nice we seeing you. You as well. We are excited to have you joining us at our annual conference 2019. Our theme this year is It Starts With Us. And Anthony, you'll be joining us on July 31st and facilitating two sessions targeting the topic of personalized learning. And so I, I know you address a number of other uh, important topics as well, especially with your new book, uh, the new school rules, is that yep, six, rules? Yep. Yes, fantastic. Uh, and so would you mind just sharing with us, what is it that makes you so passionate about the topic of personalized learning? Yeah, that's a good question. I think um, one of the things that we found is the, the gaps that uh, we see in student uh, achievement, it, it, they're just getting larger. And I think this idea that we're going to catch each student up just by delivering the grade level instruction is, hasn't worked to date. And when we've seen schools personalize and really work on the skill sets that kids need at, at, at the level they are need, they, they're at, uh, it really seems to help accelerate their learning. And it, I, I do think that it's the opportunity for our education system to actually uh, close that gap by implementing personalized learning. Well, and it sounds like personalization, personalized learning also uh, supports our goal of equity and ensuring that all students have access to uh, quality educational opportunities so that they can all achieve at successful, you know, high levels of success. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad you mentioned that because I'm actually in Austin right now at South by Southwest Interactive. And one of the um, things that I like to do is go talk to a bunch of different types of companies and even, even companies and very large companies are struggling with uh, employee development. And there's a big shift in the workforce to move towards personalized uh, professional development for employees as opposed to what we typically see, which is you know, a stock set of professional development courses for everybody to get the same skill set. You know, we have, we have a couple of districts or a number of districts in Iowa who are looking at and, and experimenting with personalized learning for teacher professional development, staff professional learning, and looking at micro-credentialing and badging mm -hmm. as forms of personalized learning just for the you know point you're making that yeah. uh, everybody's on a different in a different place on that learning continuum with regard to what it is they need to know and be able to do to better perform their job or a specific task. Yeah. Um, what would you say for those of our K-12, pre-K-12 principals, superintendents, and other educational administrators would be a couple of key takeaways uh, for attending your session? Yeah, um, I think in, in our sessions or in my session, I, I really like to focus on what are the key habits and practices that you just need to get comfortable with. Uh, and how do you like um, do those on a regular basis at the, at the schools that you work in? Uh, because I, I do believe that teachers really create the condition for learning. And so it's really figuring out like what are the everyday habits that teachers can put in place in the classroom that optimize the condition for learning. And I, I feel like that's the first step to personalized learning, creating really dynamic learning environments for the kids so that they have multiple opportunities to learn in different ways and even utilize looking at some of John Hattie's work and effect size, really thinking about what are the strategies that produce more than a year's worth of growth? Because we have to implement strategies that produce more than a year's worth of growth to close the gap. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And I know you mentioned teachers in the learning environment. And I know, you know, school principals and superintendents have mm -hmm. such a, an awesome opportunity to influence those conditions for learning and to model and set the stage around personalized learning and what that looks like uh, for teachers and then to support them and support them with the resources so that they can, they are able to do that effectively. And it sounds like that this session will help them to know what it is that I need to do as a school leader to facilitate uh, our teachers work in the classroom with students uh, on that personalized pathway. Yeah, I think, I think you bring up a good point. They, um, while the teachers have the day-to-day -day control over the classroom, uh, the building leaders are really creating kind of the psychological safety for 
things to be tried and you know to experiment with uh, new ideas and new approaches and uh, to create that opportunity for the teachers and the, the staff to learn in along with the students. The, uh, no. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I'm just going to say, I think this is really the part uh, that fits so well with our theme. It starts with us. I, I see uh -huh. us as school leaders as being, as having that opportunity to model and set the stage um, first to support those teachers in risk taking and innovating and trying yeah. new things so all students can be successful. Yeah. And I think, you know, just to touch on the district role, uh, you know, I, I believe that the district is in really is in a position to set kind of an organizational culture that allows for you know transfer of information or information sharing knowledge sharing um, but really the the district is designed to help kind of create the organizational structure for these units which are the school buildings and the school leader really takes on the responsibility of creating the safe environment for the adults to learn and grow themselves because if, if the, I, I believe that if the adults aren't growing then the students won't grow either. Yeah, I, I like that. I think that is a spot on. I think we are a learning organization, and when that when we say we're a learning organization, that means everybody in the organization right. is learning. Right. Well, I'm super excited to have you with us. I've had a couple colleagues uh, who uh, have heard you before and have had the opportunity to learn with you, and they said, "Oh, Anthony Kent's coming. This is going to be so exciting." So. Very much looking forward to having you here with us in July, and uh, we'll hope the months go quickly and the snow melts quickly between now and then. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm excited to be there. Uh, July 30th is, is my birthday, so I'm looking for people to celebrate with. <laughs> awesome. What a, couldn't have a better way to spend your birthday. It's a gift yeah. to be in Iowa. As a <laughs> All right. Birthday. Thanks, Sounds Anthony. good. Looking forward to it. Thanks.